So showing up for those things you know you're not going to regret are Showing up for those things you know you're not going to regret. That's an interesting take on it. Because hmm. I, I mean, I've always come, you know, from the, you know, from growing up, it's like you go in, you do the best that you possibly can. The writing to me is a it's a compulsion. I was, I was one of those hard workers. That... But I see the fitness industry and the sport performance industry has probably done a better job in looking at nutrition as, as it impacts it. Than... Okay, All three, right. <laughs> three, two, one. <laughs> Hello. Up and running. Up and running. We're here in the lounge. Yeah. How are you? Um, I'm fine. It's Friday. And uh, yeah, I just took a part of the first uh, live stream event of the CrossFit Open 21.1. So we started the broadcast uh, 22 two, um, this morning mm -hmm. and it went on until 3 p.m. was well, uh, 3 a.m. 3 a.m. Uh, something like that. And yeah, it was a bit hard to fall asleep after that again. So, uh, but I had a small, uh, you know, sleep before that. Um, I was watching. Uh, the interview uh, with uh, Matt Fraser and Joe Rogan. Okay. And uh, most parts of that was pretty good. But then actually, exactly when I woke up, I was like, I heard some stuff that Matt Fraser was saying, like, ah, he, 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 he totally did not represent the sport in a good way. Okay. <laughs> or I don't know, CrossFit in a good way, but yeah okay um but yeah no it's interesting to to hear his input um how, how about you i'm good i'm good you said you're a bit tired yeah a little tired but it's it's friday also it's the end of the week it's been a a, a busy week so yeah so tell us about the the broadcast this early this morning how uh, did it go yeah so uh, pretty interesting we uh i mean <laughs> main mainly the, the broadcast comes from the states and then we are kind of handling a lot of the things that are happening in the background here in germany and then we have uh, these two guys that i brought into the team when we started with the battle of the box owners as max and dragon and uh, they these guys can talk forever so it's good Mm -hmm. uh, and they they never run out of topics to talk mm -hmm. about, uh, but no, it's cool. So um, analyzing the workout, looking at that, uh, you know, the workout was uh, uh, one of those very inclusive ones. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think Dave Castro did really good with this uh, programming in that sense. He he's done that uh, last open was also filled with uh, really good workouts that really are inclusive mm -hmm. and um, what I mean with inclusive is that anyone can start and then you know train or do the workout for 15 minutes you're not going to finish but you definitely will um, have a good workout now um, yeah, I, the workout is, is it's wall climbs and jump rope or double under. So it starts with one and then it goes up with, uh, well, the classical kind of CrossFit scheme is one, three, six, nine, mm -hmm. 15, 21 mm -hmm. uh, reps of wall climbs. And then you have added zero behind the, the number for double unders. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, it just happens to be that, you know, a couple of days ago, I did 50 wall walks 
uh, <laughs> for my push-up challenge. So yeah. I did 50, 50 of those. And mm -hmm. yeah, it took me 18 minutes to do those. Okay. And now I have to, you know, put in 550 double unders on top. So that's going to be interesting. Yeah. Um, I said my goal is just to beat Dave Castro. Mm -hmm. um, do you think that's doable? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's doable. Good. Um, I think that target might be a bit too low even. I, and I might need to beat myself, my old score from last year. Uh, I'm just going to double check. But I, I think I got uh, in. So on the scoreboard last year, uh, this is then in my region, which is which is Sweden and also my age category but 26 so i got 26th in sweden okay and wow um to be honest uh in sweden you have much more people doing crossfit than in germany so uh i don't think that's a super bad placement um but i have some box owners in in sweden that i i want to beat so okay <laughs> i think i'm gonna check those on the scoreboard <laughs> um and yeah, there's no, I have no chance with the, the top athletes. Of course. Okay. Yeah. How about you? What, what's your, what, what's your strategy here? It's one of these workouts where it's just kind of get through it. I don't, I don't think I'll be able to finish. Um, I'm quite quick when it comes to, you know, stuff like, like wall walks and I have like the, the kind of just like the, the work capacity, mm -hmm. um, to do that. My double unders are not there. So I'll have to scale or to, to, um, adjust that. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm just gonna, I, I don't really have a strategy yet for this one. <laughs> I haven't thought about it too much, to be honest. Yeah, it, this is the thing. Like, it, this is a small, small person's workout. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> because uh, if you're heavy and you have long arms, legs, it's just uh, mm -hmm. it takes longer and um, it's more strenuous. Looking at these like top athletes, one of the girl girls there, Christy Aramo, she didn't finish. Mm -hmm. So expecting me to be able to finish this one no way i yeah. mean she's i don't know one 155 160 something like that yeah. she's not a big girl yeah and for her that it takes that a lot of time I, she's very good at double unders and yeah. everything so um and I, yeah I, I just know doing five wall walks after each other like after a while the, the shoulders simply uh go numb right and, yeah. and you can't climb anymore and it's more like okay i'm gonna follow my face if i push it so there there's yeah yeah so how do you strategize for for that many wall walks knowing that you know your shoulders are just going to be smoked by the end of it how do you how do you prepare yourself for this i think you need to be um aware of your recovery mm -hmm. uh, for wall walks and your pace for it mm -hmm. And maybe you can push it in some cases, but <clears throat> uh, you don't want to cross that red line mm -hmm. where you need to recover too much. But you 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 want to be you want to have a strategy of okay, I'm going to do four per minute or five mm -hmm. per minute, or if it's three per minute, that's fine. Then kind of stick to that mm -hmm. and see if you can gain uh, any ground on on the double unders or, or the other stuff. Mm -hmm. um, one other strategy would be to um or uh, probably how i will do it is i will when it comes up to the those round of nine right round of 15 i will start the first sets uh, a bit slower so okay. i would probably do them in sets of two mm -hmm. uh, to start with and have a small rest mm -hmm. and then um and then the last three reps or four reps, I might just try to, you know, uh, go a bit faster right. and get through them faster mm -hmm. and see if that works. Mm -hmm. um, I, I would be super, super happy if I would get to maybe the round of 21. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, let's let's get to to round 15 to start with. 
Good luck. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Thanks. So today I thought we would talk about, since we are now in the, in the open season, um, <clears throat> to talk about something we have kind of talked about before, but um, in the, in the, in the realm of the open. And that topic is mindset, focus, self-talk and showing up. Mm. Um, and so I have a bunch of questions that we can kind of look at and, and, and unpack. Um, but my first question is what does being prepared mean to you? Um, when it comes to competition, mm -hmm. uh, that's a very specific <clears throat> type of being prepared. Um, that means sleeping good uh, and eating well mm -hmm. uh, and timing all your eating, timing what you're doing, uh, having really good like specific warm up going mm -hmm. into it um and if you look at specifically open workouts um many of them it, it is a huge advantage to be you know warming up for 20 to 30 minutes almost mm -hmm. you want to get your uh aerobic an engine going mm -hmm. you want to ha have all the joints really really let's say moisturized with with blood and nutrients and everything so mm -hmm. um, you can prepare that into very fine detail mm -hmm. and of course then the like the mindset of going into it so mm -hmm. you really go through the workout you go through timings you go through um scenarios and whatever Th the jump rope breaks uh something happens like all those stuff you need to go through and what mm -hmm. you're going to do so mm -hmm. um and then you have a worst case scenario and what you're going to do and all these are not to create excuses but to be you know also prepared for those uh situations and um and i have never done that for the open okay La, like last opens here uh, we've been doing at the box i've been uh, moderating or <laughs> judging for like three hours and then jumping in cold and doing the workout basically so uh, i've done a retry for some of the workouts and yeah i didn't even like excel that much but it really helped it helped more to have you know audience and mm -hmm. people yeah and that kind of competition feeling than just trying to uh do it by yourself or with, mm -hmm. or with someone else no so um yeah i've never i've never done it for the open and again i'm not stressing myself too much about it i'm kind of feeling myself the feeling how it goes mm -hmm. and, and so on I, it's really yeah, it's bad that we can't do it as we're doing it like live like we've been doing so one thing i'm considering maybe we should just try to do this like a zoom oh, okay thing to yeah kind of push ourselves a bit mm -hmm. so that could be one way to to do it uh and have more people in, in the live right. setting of that um yeah i, I mean uh, long answer to how, what's what's pre being prepared but mm -hmm. yeah it's uh planning you know yeah mm -hmm. it's interesting i i was thinking about something when when you were talking just now um about um f focus um do you find yourself um how how long does it take you to get kind of zoned in is it right when you start the workout or does it take around or how do you kind of focus in? I know for me, um, and this goes back to even, you know, when I was a musical performer, I never focused backstage. It was only until I hit the lights, hit the stage with the audience there that suddenly it was like tunnel vision for me. And that's when I was just completely present so do you find that um as soon as you start the workout you focus in or how long does it take you 
so la mm -hmm. last times when I've been here, I think people noticed like just 10 minutes before I need to go. Mm -hmm. I, I, I also have that tunnel vision. I, I don't mm -hmm. listen to anyone and mm -hmm. I just need to quickly warm up kind of. Yeah. And I feel like, oh, I, everything is just not warmed up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm just uh, thinking of like, I, uh, okay, I'm going to go safe. I'm not going to hurt myself. Yeah. Um, but I've been surprised to how good it been going. Um, but I, from experience from like playing ice hockey, uh, in those situations when we had games, my focus was almost, it could be a day before. Mm. Uh, I could really go through the, everything I was doing. I'm maybe even practicing by myself mm -hmm. on with my stick or whatever mm -hmm. um i was then hours uh, yeah when the day started also what what i was eating at mm -hmm. what time mm -hmm. uh, how i was feeling also wanted to have this kind of feeling agile feeling alert mm -hmm. so i was um really focusing fo dialing in dialing in slowly and uh until the game i know many of my my teammates they could be yeah kind of laughing around being super super uh, i don't know relaxed about it and i was i, w I was more in the tunnel vision yeah uh, two hours before yeah um and just focusing on the game wanted to go you know go through uh, you know, when you're playing with with in a team, you you usually have your uh, if you're in the in the offense, you have your team, your your two uh, offense guys. Uh, I was the center, so I had the left wing, right wing with me, and I w wanted to rather go through. Okay, how are we gonna mm -hmm. handle situ situations? So you would visualize plays. Yeah, yeah, but also like stuff stuff like okay this team has these kind of guys or mm -hmm. whatever this number this guy mm -hmm. is the guy who's keeping up the team so we might just talk about okay let's destroy this guy the first five minutes mm -hmm. and uh find a situation where we can destroy him like mm -hmm. <laughs> so that was um uh, yeah those kind of strategies and um yeah it'll, hours of focus so yeah. I, after a game i could really feel like oh, you know all that kind of pre preparation and so on usually it really paid off yeah because if i didn't do it i had i don't know bad sleep i did uh, whatever things came to a game mm -hmm. my focus was not really there well i, I performed like shit. yeah do you have any specific like inner dialogue that you that that you practice or like a mantra or something that kind of that's yours that you know your voice that kind of motivates you or um pumps you up no i i didn't have any mantras but i had specific things i did when it comes to it came to ice hockey i okay. had my exact routine of how i got all the gear okay how i got dressed and ah, okay. I, I still kind of know it by heart yeah so i know exactly i'm gonna start uh you know with these pieces uh, mm -hmm. of equipment i will uh you know when i got the trousers on i know i'm gonna do um um my left left uh it's called skate first mm -hmm. right skate afterwards mm -hmm. and then left knee pad and then right knee pad so i had all those things and before the game it was like the stick how to kind of yep. handle the stick and uh because you usually tape the stick so i had a my own uh my own taping of the stick okay um so that i uh, you know you borrow some inspiration from other players and from other pros and mm -hmm. then you kind of you know find your own mm -hmm. way of doing it and uh you know all those things go into creating the perfect scenario and yeah. and it's not so much about the, the the mantra but it's more about getting all the things lined up yeah 
and I know like one if I did like when I got when I stopped playing for let's say career and just played for fun and I stopped with that some mm -hmm. games I was a bit sloppy then my game sucked yeah but even as a let's say a playing for fun if I switched on that kind of okay let's line up all the things my games were so much better right <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. So <clears throat> for people going into these workouts for the next few weeks, um, three weeks, how would you suggest as a coach, how would you suggest people prepare in those 10 minutes before? <clears throat> yeah. What advice could you give? Well, it starts a bit uh, before that, but maybe really get, get into planned the workout ahead and then 10 minutes before just try to make sure that you're uh you really feel warm and ready mm -hmm. and whatever that might be for you if it's a bit of jumping uh, mm -hmm. uh maybe it is a bit of rowing maybe skipping mm -hmm. uh stretching mm -hmm. but uh definitely get get inside your head a bit and yeah. get some it's about getting a bit calm so yeah. you don't want to be edgy mm -hmm. you want to be calm and smooth and mm -hmm. there's this uh, thing when it comes to weightlifting and uh, also other sports but smooth is fast so right if you look at the really pro ones they, they doesn't look like they're moving fast because it's so smooth but they are really fast yeah uh, when they're moving so yeah it's not always about just slamming and you know jerking everything but it's also about being smooth and i think getting into that mindset before mm -hmm. can be very helpful i think it's really easy to throw around the word mindset and but to really kind of it's a very like common it's such a buzzword yeah. it's an important word because it encompasses you know like how we operate how we think um but, you know, I think, you know, and then there's so many, you know, I, I think I mentioned all of them today, focus, self-talk, showing up, you know, preparedness, all of these things. And of course, it really always comes down to like, you know, the individual. Um, but in what ways do you think people jeopardize all of that? So uh, how they jeopardize their their mindset or their performance <laughs> well their mindset and and going into their performance mm -hmm. um yeah i think the, the most people try try their best uh in preparing and so on and the thing that they might not have full control of is going through the situations of um there are there perf different performance sc scenarios where mm -hmm. it's uh, you know if you're complete competing elite uh, athlete it doesn't really matter if you're elite or if you're a beginner but just having that mindset of that whatever it comes on to the paper you know you can you can analyze that and you can be upset for one second if it's not exactly what you wanted mm -hmm. but you need to just turn page mm -hmm. immediately mm -hmm. and just whatever comes there it's going to be there and that's learning mm -hmm. like that's learning you got there with your efforts good or bad um you got there nothing to dwell about mm -hmm. just move on mm -hmm. if you're going to redo it then learn from that mm -hmm. uh, if you're not going to redo it then like okay learn from that that's how it goes when i'm dialed in this way mm -hmm. uh, but also being um and that comes to the preparedness of the mindset before building up too much i don't know hopes and dreams and whatever it might be mm -hmm. it's it's also like don't value yourself on that small score right it's, it's not determining who you are it's uh, mm -hmm. it's just one thing one minor thing in your you know total life right well i was thinking about this because you know 
obviously right now, you know, I mean, we, we, we carry out our, our zoom classes and, and so that in, in a way that's, you know, group fitness. Mm. Um, but you know, a lot of us right now are kind of forced to train on our own Mm. and something that, you know, if I can say, you know, I've been training by myself for the last few months and it's really taken me out of kind of the competition aspect of it Mm. Um, because, well, my competition is myself and, um, and just bettering myself, but I don't have, you know, Susie or John Mm. next Mm. to me, um, you know, on my tail or whatever. Mm. Um, And so I'm, you know, I'm just, curious to know your opinion about, you know, right now, you know, in this new format of the open, a lot of people have had to change the way that they train. And so like the competition factor is quite different. Mm -hmm. So I'm just, I'm just curious to know what you, what you kind of think about that or what you're. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's different uh, for sure, but um, it's, it's also okay. Like Mm -hmm. it's, uh, I think it's good with the open now because it's, you know, we've all been kind of isolated. Mm-hmm. Now it's something that might push us a bit extra, mm. which I think is good. Mm-hmm. Um, being a bit outside your comfort zone and then you can, you know, crawl back again. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah. And being in a, in, in a situation where you're not competing for a couple of months mm-hmm. is great. Yeah. Like yesterday we had, um, Carrie Pierce in in the show or in the competing right mm-hmm. after the games so she, she was the first uh, American woman on the podium since 2010 <laughs> uh, which is crazy uh, because a US has much more athletes than outside US mm-hmm. however uh, she was on the podium after the games she took a two months break mm-hmm. so she did well she went a bit to the gym and so on but she didn't compete mm-hmm. and do any strenuous stuff in that sense mm-hmm. so um yeah she 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 and now look at her now she is fitter than she was before the games yeah so it definitely pays off to have those drawback time and also, coming back to the Matt Fraser uh, interview, he talked about a bit about the weightlifting aspects and the things he learned there is that um, you don't train for one rep maxes all the time. No, you train with, you know, 70, 80%. That's kind of the maximum weight you're mostly doing. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, also looking into science of uh what's it called uh we have science of uh, flow state Mm -hmm. and so on and it seems like being at those like the 80 percent be uh yeah working at the 80 percent capacity is really beneficial for your 100 percent capacity Mm -hmm. so instead of always always going for the max being at that 80 percent seems to pay off interesting in, yeah in the long run however i think it's also good you have to go to, out of your comfort zone now and then mm-hmm. and that's where you where you also do the growing if you don't do it and you always stay on 80 percent, well you're not going to move the needle right uh, you need to go outside the comfort zone lift lift the ceiling a bit and then you have your new 80 percent mm-hmm mm-hmm I think, you know, the term showing up is kind of all encompassing of, you know, what we're talking about in terms of being prepared. Um, When do you feel after the workout? um, When do you feel that you have showed up? (laughs) Yeah, I, 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 I'm not 100% sure uh, if it's after uh, afterwards, but I, I just feel, yeah, so straight after whatever you do, I always feel like, oh, nice, I did that. Mm-hmm. And 
and I know that's why I also show up because of I know it always kind of pays off mm -hmm. and it comes down to also some psychology if you go if we go back to Viktor Frankl mm -hmm. <laughs> again yeah it's about um yeah creating creating you know you have to create those scenarios where you where you do stuff and then uh, you come out on the other side and you feel like okay I, I i didn't regret that and uh you want to live a life where you mostly spend time doing things that you don't regret mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and, yeah and i don't regret when i've been exercising right i don't regret um you know when i slept seven to eight hours mm -hmm. <laughs> i don't regret when i spend time with my kids right uh i do regret if i had you know a couple of beers okay uh yeah not, not maybe one but you know having four mm -hmm. and i feel that oh i regret that <laughs> and you don't want to spend time on things you're going to regret yeah yeah so um yeah so showing up for those things you know you're not going to regret are showing essential. up for those things you know you're not going to regret that's an interesting take on it because mm. i i mean i've always come you know from the you know from growing up it's like you go in you do the best that you possibly can and i remember i had a director and i asked this question because i had a director once and he would ask you know at the you know during the performances did you show up today mm -hmm. and it was so clear whether you know i did or i didn't it was just like a knee-jerk reaction yep I was there. I was in it. Whether it was a good performance or a bad performance, it was like I knew that I I knew what that energy was that I had when I was completely just present in the moment. Mm -hmm. And I find that, you know, with with our workouts, whether it's in the open or just a regular workout, you know those days when you have just shown up. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm so I'm I'm very curious to see, you know, throughout the next three weeks, you know, in what workouts people will show up in or not. I think this workout, it's such an odd one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Th this one is the odd one. It's the inclusive one. And next week or the third week, we will have like one of these uh workouts that is just gonna wipe 80 percent out of the competition okay so that was my next question so um honing it on the on the 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 next workouts what are you expecting what's your forecast i hope forecast we, well i hope we're gonna see a repeat um and if i would chat uh, make a guess <clears throat> we had last time time uh also two very good inclusive ones mm -hmm. but with a high skill or high skill but heavy weight kind of thing the first one was um i think it was 20.3 which was a ladder between box jumps clean and jerks and then pistols, pistols. and clean and jerks mm -hmm. and this workout was beautiful because most like everyone could do this and mm -hmm. they got to a barbell probably mm -hmm. that was like shit am i gonna be able to make this barbell and for some people it might have been the pistol mm -hmm. so and you saw like pr's rating in that mm -hmm. um, remark uh, that was the most brutal workout i've also done my body was destroyed for a week <laughs> after doing that i couldn't redo it it was <laughs> my body was out mm -hmm. um but yeah so that one really distinguishes from pro and mm -hmm. rest mm -hmm. uh, then we had the the other one but still like inclusive because most people actually could do a full workout mm -hmm. and have a good time uh the second workout was the last one i think 20.5 which was rowing wall balls wall balls and muscle ups Ah, yeah. And the rowing in the wall balls, wall, wall balls were for most people already enough for a workout. <laughs> and you could do it. I think you could do it in in kind of. 
not the order, but you you could pick your own order. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. meant like if you didn't have a muscle up, well, you're just gonna do RX, but the wall balls and, and the and the rowing. Yeah. And for some people they did that and then they maybe had a couple of minutes of like trying to get their first muscle up. Mm -hmm. So then you saw a lot of people just boom doing their first muscle ups. Yeah. Uh, so that was uh, also a great workout, I mm -hmm. think, but also like makes a huge difference if you can do five muscle ups or if you can do 40 mm -hmm. and uh, all the pros, they can do 40 with a breeze. So it the, the there's a big distance between those mm -hmm. but yeah as soon as you can do one muscle up your rankings go up yeah. the roof <laughs> but because of the 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 new way that they're doing it for this year um do you think we're gonna see stuff like muscle ups and and scale down to uh, be uh, able to do it inclusive or no equipment uh, well there, there's uh, there's a pull-up bar at least okay. announced. I don't think they've announced rings, but okay. barbell will come and pull-up bar. So mm -hmm. maybe it's not going to be muscle-ups. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, but probably very likely chest, mm -hmm. chest to bar pull-ups. Okay. So, uh, or toes to bar. Ah, toes to bar. Okay. Mm. And then you probably have some scale, scale version for that. And mm -hmm. then you have the no equipment version okay and adaptive versions you have so many adaptive leagues right so when are you planning to do the workout i don't know uh, i didn't know like how i would feel today uh, looking at my recovery today we, we can have a check uh, and see what my i was gonna say my my fitness okay. tracker is saying yeah <laughs> Um, yeah, this is my recovery at the moment. 18%. 18%. What's it normally at? Uh, it's uh, yesterday was 30. Okay. 50. Oh, so you're feeling pretty shitty right now. Uh, 47. <laughs> like my, since I got this one, I had just a couple of days that were, uh, we have like red, yellow, and green. I, ju I just had a couple of days in the green. And okay. You want to spend most of your life in the greens. Uh, ideally, yeah. Ideally. Yeah. Um, however, this is, in my opinion, also the corona effect. So my my life is being hardly affected by mm -hmm by everything that has to do with uh, lockdowns and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, homeschooling uh, schedules here and so yeah. on. Yeah. And uh, yeah, need to get those. Yeah. Having a, a small kid, <laughs> new yeah. kid also. Uh, but yeah, getting those into the greens and, uh, very soon. Let's we'll see if I can do that, the workout. I feel, I start to feel better now. So may, I might actually go for a try today. Okay. Uh, otherwise, I think I will maybe aim for Monday for like a full out. So people don't have to do it on Friday. No, no. You have you have until because of time time change and everything. We we mm -hmm. can do it. We can start here. Well, it's middle of the night, mm -hmm. and then it goes until Tuesday mm -hmm. midday that we can. Had our scores. Okay. So it's it's when I don't know if it's Monday twelve p.m. Uh, twelve a.m. Mm -hmm. twelve p.m. Uh, Pacific time mm -hmm. where the gates close. Okay. So that's kind of your deadline. But Monday is, in my opinion, like last try. Okay. Okay. But yeah, I'll I'll I'll, I'll definitely do it. And we kicked off the Escapist Open too. So talk about that. That's going to be awesome yeah. too. Well, um, we have, uh, you know, a week full of challenges. You can obviously do the the challenges uh, independent from day, from the day. But yeah, the open workout is there. We have a second uh, workout, like remote workout. You mm -hmm. should be doing. 
you can try to get your friends doing it right uh and we gather points by doing these challenges that we have uh five thousand steps you have to accomplish in one day yeah that are not with running included okay we have a 3k run too yep and uh, uh sugar-free days three sugar-free days sugar-free days yeah it's not so difficult 3k <laughs> run Easy. Yeah. I've already done my five thousand steps today. I got my little alert on, so I'm 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 <laughs> I'm pretty good so far. Yeah. No, you just need to get your partner doing the five thousand steps. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my husband. Yeah. Francisco yeah. is is my partner, yeah. and uh, well, my 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 life partner, and my my open partner, and um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna push him a yeah. little bit. He needs to be pushed. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, Who's your partner? It's uh, Sarah. Okay. And uh, yeah, we we have a competition leaderboard and everything, yep. so we can add scores and yep. so on. And, and photos. And uh, if, yeah, <laughs> we we have those too. No, but the, the competition board is cool because we can actually follow like a live feed. Okay. Of, like hmm, which team is leading? Yep. So, yep. If, for example, if you've done your five thousand steps, you can already. To take that off yeah and if your partner also done it you can also do it right yeah um so yeah and then we're gonna have a, like a live scoreboard um uh, that we can update and <laughs> cool yeah awesome and yeah it's gonna be alive because yeah every, everyone can kind of update any day yeah and um yeah every week uh there's a new there's a new set of challenges mm -hmm. and um yeah, I'm looking forward to that, and I think we're we're 17 teams at the moment. Awesome. What's the name of your team? We haven't decided yet, but um, we might be the Chameleons. Chameleons. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I have to. I have to figure out a name <laughs> for our team. Maybe it'll be something in Spanish. Something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna say what I thought of <laughs> Spanish names. <now. laughs> All right. Well, this was a cool talk um, about you know how to get prepared, how to be prepared, focus, mindset, getting ready to just throw yourself in and yeah, put your all in it. Maybe one last tip for this workout. Yeah. Make sure you peed before you did it. Did Ooh, workout. yeah, that's a good one. Don't drink too much water. Yeah. And don't eat close to the workout either. Yeah, yeah. You can be on your tummy a lot. Yeah. yeah. And ladies, wear a good sports bra. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just strap them down. Make sure everything's just like held in and tight. And um, you'll have nothing to worry about. Exactly. Yeah. Um, awesome. Then good luck with the... Uh, that one and see you next week next week see you bye bye, 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 -bye. being on a podcast we could follow too much of that. the writing to me is a it's a compulsion i was, I was one of those hard workers that but I see the fitness industry and the sport performance industry has probably done a better job in looking at nutrition as, as it impacts the thing.